Have I found what I think might be my favorite design tool of all time? You guys, I sure have. It is called the Color Cube, and it is my new obsession. The Color Cube is a huge collection of color palettes that you can use in your design work, your artwork, or even just like in real life. I got the Color Cube a couple weeks ago, and I have been loving it, and I thought you guys might be interested to see what it is and how I'm using it. This video is not sponsored. I bought this with my own money and I just think it's a great product and that you should know about it. The Color Cube is from a creator here on YouTube named Sarah Renee Clark. Her channel is all about artwork, but that's not where I learned about the Color Cube for the first time. It was actually from this creator, Mia Maples, who does a lot of clothing hauls and product reviews here on YouTube. And she took the Color Cube into her closet and put together outfits she would never have pieced together before using the color palettes in the Color Cube. I thought that looked like a fun challenge, so we are gonna try that at the end of this video but first let me show you how I use this in my professional life. So if you open up the color cube, there's a whole bunch of cards in here with different color palettes. And each card has a photograph of that color palette in action. And then it has a series of maybe five or six colors on the front. And then when you flip the card over, there are different tints and shades of those five colors on the back side of the card. The colors are printed right to the edge of the card so you can use them to match physical objects in real life. And there's also hex color code information on each card as well so you can get a perfect match for your digital projects. And it also comes with a great set of instructions, basically telling you that there are no hard and fast rules. You can pull just a few colors from one of these palettes. It also says, don't get too caught up on the names of the colors. They're just general descriptions. And also, if you can't get the exact color match, don't sweat it. The palettes will still work if you're close. Now, I know you can get color palettes online, but here's the thing. There's nothing like having a tangible product in your hands, and when you get your hands on the color cube, you'll see this is a very high quality product for sure. The other thing I like about it is that I find that when I'm scrolling through color palettes online, I'll see one I like, but I wanna browse more. And then when I wanna go back to that first one I liked, I totally forgot which one it was. What I love about this is I can go through these color palettes and then I can just set aside the ones that I like and that I might wanna use in my project. So here's a project I'm working on. It is going to be a statistics template for Final Cut Pro. And so what I did was I pulled colors from this palette here. I just thought they were really interesting and super professional. I also made this version of the same template where I made each dial have a more monochromatic look. And I pulled all of those colors from this palette here. By the way, if you're interested on how I created this template, template for Final Cut Pro. I'm posting a tutorial on my other channel in a couple days. I will link to my other channel down below. And if you're watching this in the future and that video is already live, I will put a card to it like right here, okay? And if you do artwork or illustration, here's an example of how I used the color cube to create this fish image. So that's how I've been using the color cube here at work, but it got me thinking, what else could I do with the color cube? So like I said, I saw Mia Maples pull the color cube into her closet and pull together outfits. So I thought, let's give it a whirl. Now, unfortunately, my closet's not as extensive as Mia Maples, A, because she does clothing hauls here on YouTube, so she has a lot of clothes, and B, she lives in Canada, so she does a lot of layering, whereas I live in the tropics, and so all of my clothes are a lot more lightweight, and I don't have a lot of, like, layering pieces, but we're gonna try to pull together outfits as best we can. So for this first outfit, I started with these olive pants that I have kind of a hard time matching. To me, I don't really know what goes with olive green besides black or white, so I fanned through the color cube and came up with this palette that has olive in it. Then I pulled together this umber colored shirt, these sand colored shoes, and this deep purple clutch. And I gotta say, it looks pretty good. I would never have put these clothes together on my own, but it's definitely something I'm gonna be trying out. For my next outfit, I grabbed this palette. I've got these gray corduroy pants, this hot pink top, and I paired it with these caramel colored shoes, which I would never normally do. And I realized that the reverse side of this belt pretty well matches the dark peach on this palette. Yeah, and once again, something I would never have put together on my own, but it definitely works. This last outfit I think was my favorite. I used this palette. For the dark blue color, I just pulled a pair of dark jeans, grabbed this raspberry shirt and these yellow shoes and this taupe handbag. And I think you can see this one's definitely a winner. 
So obviously I had pretty good success even with my limited wardrobe in pulling together outfits using the color cube. And then that got me thinking, how could I use this in interior design? So I started thumbing through the color cube palettes and I found this one here. Already in my living room, I had four of these five colors incorporated. And that made me feel pretty good. Like I'm already mentally on the right track. Like I have an innate sense of putting colors together, but I always had this sense that I was just missing one more element. So you can see that my green wallpaper matches the artichoke on this palette. The wall color is a lighter shade of this top beige. My throw pillows and this little throw blanket are this other shade of beige. Remember she said, don't get too caught up on the names of these colors and she was right. She has two beiges on the same palette. And there's also this very dark brown color on the palette, which is almost the exact same color as my couch. Even though it's called eggplant, it does kind of have a more purple undertone. I think it's pretty close. So the only color I'm missing is this rose tan. So I took myself to the happiest place on earth, not Disney, Home Goods. I walked around with the color palette and stumbled upon these pillows that are almost a dead match for this rose tan color. By the way, I just wanna say, I do not know how creators shoot in public. It was mortifying. So yeah, I took away some pillows and threw these ones on the couch and I really love it. It just adds a little something extra to the room, but still stays within the muted colors of this palette. I can see myself using the color cube, not only professionally, and I have been doing that already, but also personally as well. Even if you're someone who has an innate sense for color, like I like to think I do, maybe I can pull together three, four colors, but I can't can't pull together the fifth or sixth. And that's where I think the color cube is super valuable. And every time I rifle through here, I find palettes that get me really excited. Like this one here, I haven't used it yet, but I'm gonna find a way to use this color palette because I'm really in love with it. What do you guys think of the color cube? Do you like that it's a physical product the way I do? Or are you like, nah, man, I'm into like digital color palettes. I don't need something physical like this. I'm really interested to hear what you guys think. I'm gonna link to all the YouTube channels I mentioned down below, all the videos I mentioned down below. Of course, I'll link to the color cube down below. In the meantime, I picked out some other videos I know you're gonna love. I'll see you again.